G'day, knucklehead, it's Uncle Nackers here, and welcome to episode 33 of my Own a Builder series. Now, I've got a lot going on today, and we're kicking off nice and early with putting up our garage door, which is pretty exciting. Now, these installers generally work by themselves, and I've often wondered, how do they get those big doors up without any assistance? Well, here's the trick. They install ropes with loops down from the brackets above the door then simply insert one end of the garage door into that loop which supports it and then lift it up put it into the next loop on the other side and then repeat the process pretty ingenious and before you know it there's the garage door up on its brackets ready to be screwed down. Well done. And look at that. Door goes down and door goes up. Mission accomplished. Toss away all the wrappings and we are good to go. And while the garage door was being installed, I've had Vic Lindsay, the excavator driver, and Mark Passmore, the plumber, in the backyard doing some earthworks regarding our sewer and stormwater lines. Oh, and I can't forget Gidge, the fox terrier. Gidge is Vic's best mate, and she spends most of the day on the back of the excavator, keeping Vic company. She's got a pretty good life, Gidge. She loves it. And here's the trench for the stormwater, which runs across the back of the property and then down the side fence. Now the boys had a real hard time with this because it was just full of tree roots, which is a plumber's worst nightmare. And here I am offering Mark a bit of useless information while he puts together that stormwater pipe. Just take a scratch through a bit. You can see now that the trench is getting a bit deeper. This is the line for our sewer pipe, which has to meet up with the boundary trap in the back of the yard, which is that square bit of concrete there with the pipe that goes down to the base of that boundary trap. And we need to get down to the base so we can hook up the sewer pipe. Gotta be a bit careful here, because you don't want to break it. Steady. Watch it, watch it. Good stuff, Vic. Never doubted you for a moment. So like I said at the start of the video, it's all systems go today. With Mark and Vic in the backyard, Justin's doing some wall tiling, and I've started to do the fix out. I've decided to start with some skirting board or baseboard and some architraves in the old section of the house. We can't do the new section yet because the floorboards haven't been installed. Once they're installed, then I can put down the architraves and then the skirting board or the baseboard. And like I said at the start of the video, there's a fair bit going on at the moment, and I think that's going to be the nature of the beast for the rest of the build. What, this old thing? I'm glad you asked. This is a bit of old fascia, which I salvaged when I pulled down part of the old house. And I've got this and a stack of other stuff out the back, which as a housewarming present, I'm going to make a nice rustic old outdoor table. I think with a bit of TLC and a few repairs, it's going to come up an absolute treat. Alrighty, well I hope you enjoyed and found that video useful. And as per usual, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for more handy tips. Alrighty, guess what? I'm off for a cup of tea. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.